why can't God just forgive humans? Like, why can't he just take the sin away rather than have them give sacrifices or eventually, like, why did Jesus have to die? Like, that seems a little bit, like, archaic. Um, why couldn't God just change the rules? I don't know if you've ever thought about that question. Uh, I have. I think it's a really, really powerful question. And what it hints at is, big word alert, something called substitutionary atonement. Okay, sin enters the world. Like, can't God just go, oh, you get, you get another chance, right? You, you get another chance. N- never mind, just kidding. Even in our own life, if you're a parent, you, you have this at play deep within your psyche, right? Parents who consistently change the rules, especially if they have multiple kids, parents who consistently change the rules lose trust with their kids. Never mind, we'll just, we'll just keep pushing bedtime later or, or, or keep not worrying about your grades or, or just keep not cleaning up your room. Uh, eventually things can get really, really messy. We have to remember the purpose of sacrifice in at least the Jewish texts was to not do something for God. It's to remind us of God's faithfulness, remind us of God's covenant to us that yes, you're going to bless us or not based on our obedience, but you're always going to be our God. And as, and as distant as that might feel to our, again, postmodern self-oriented perspectives on life, that was revolutionary. 